Welcome back students. In this lesson I want to continue on with a couple more examples on how to convert numbers into scientific notation. And so we'll go ahead and begin with the first of the two numbers. Notice here at the very top we've got one number and the second number. So I'll do the first one here. First I'm going to go ahead and write it and then explain how we do this. So 0 0.00002425. And so let me just write that one more time. Two, and so the idea here, remember, is we first write down the number. The second thing we do is we go and then identify the base, which are the first three significant figures in the overall scientific uh, notation uh, write-up. And so just to remind you, the notation that we're looking for is the following. A number followed by a decimal and then two more numbers times 10 to some power of n. And keep in mind that the first three here are the first three significant figures that we're looking for. So if we look at the number here, the first three significant figures are these right here, the two, the four, and the two. So what we'll do now is we're going to go ahead and place a decimal where we would like the decimal to be. Then we count the spaces between where we want the decimal to be and where the decimal originally is. So we count the spaces, and that's one, two, three, four, five. And so we're going to find that the n in this particular number is going to be 5. Right? And since we went in a leftward direction, the number is going to be negative. So we'll go ahead and write the base again. 2.42 times 10 to the fifth power. And since we went to the left, the number is negative. So this would be the conversion for this particular problem here. If we go ahead and do the second number, we're going to do that now. Let me just erase this. And what we're going to get is the following. Okay, so we'll write this number again. 6, 3, 5, 8, well, rather, 3, 8, 2, 8, 2, 9. If you notice here, this is a very large number. So another way that we can determine whether the exponent is going to be positive or negative is if this is significantly, if it's greater than 1, this is going to be a positive exponent. Okay, and so we'll do that now. And so let's go ahead and find the base. Our base is right here at 6.35, because those are the first three significant figures, or the first three non-zeros. And so in doing so, we're going to go ahead and write the base one more time here at the bottom. 6.35, because our decimal that we want is going to be placed right here in this spot here. We know normally that the decimal exists over here at the very end, so what we're going to do is just count the spaces between where we want it to be and where it normally really is. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces. So this is going to be times 10 to the 8. And since this number is greater than 1, we know it's positive, but let's just go and check it the other way. It's going in the right direction. So this is definitely going to be a positive 8. Okay? And so this is the way you convert these two numbers into scientific notation. If we're trying to enter this number into the calculator, keep in mind that we are not, and I repeat, we are not going to enter a times 10. You could do it if you want to, but that it could result in a slightly different per, uh, error for you when you're entering the, the number. So what could happen is that you're going to get a, an exponent either higher than what you should usually get. So for example, in this particular problem, we expect that we're going to get an exponent times 8, right? So one way that you could do this is enter this into the calculator, and you're going to write in the 6.35, but instead of typing times 10, you want to go ahead and type in exp inside your calculator. There's a button usually on those. On the Casios, it's an exp button. If you're using the calculator like a Hewlett Packard calculator, that's going to be the ee button. And then you will go ahead and enter the 8. Notice we don't use a positive sign. You could if you wanted to, but you enter it this way, and then that enters properly into the calculator, which you, then you can multiply, subtract, divide, or uh, engage in any other kind of multiplication function that you wish to do. Okay? So that's the way you convert these two numbers. Hopefully this series has been helpful for you in knowing how to convert scientific uh, numbers into scientific notation.